Luke Combs and Hurricane Binghamton's number one for New Country, 98.1 The Hawk. It is The Hawk Morning Show. Glenn and Tracy in studio, Colby Oakley. Colby has a new EP coming out next uh, a week from today called Where Would I Be? Release party at Touch of Texas um, next uh, Friday night. We do. I uh, once again want to say thanks to uh, the folks at Strange Brew, Alex and the guests of the gang, 137 Was- Washington Street, downtown Binghamton. We've been enjoying their their food and snacks, their their, their food and drinking. Healthy, yes. healthy options. I, that's, I'm not sure if my body's taken to it too well, but <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I'm now, sure you're a man. I, I want to ask a, a, a quick question. Uh, Kobe, for somebody who doesn't know what EP stands for, can you tell us what that is? Yeah, it, it stands for extended play and, um, you know, where an LP is a, a full length album. Um, you know, this is just a four song kind of um like a preview yeah, of what's to come. Yeah, like what's to come. Because I'm going to put a full album together at some point for everybody. And um, this just kind of gets it going and, and lets you guys know what I've been up to really is, is the It's the appetizer before the full course. Oh, yes, I exactly. Like it's a little appetizer. Brought to yeah. us by a pretty looking waitress. Go I here. like that. Whose <laughs> name is Kate. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> talking about, we just played Luke Combs and Hurricane. You were telling us that uh, one of the members, it was a guy who used to be with him is now with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Luke is really blown up. Uh, you know, he's been coming up and great song. And um, yeah, my drummer uh, used to play with Luke uh, back in wow. uh, Boone, North Carolina, where we're going to be um, May 10th. I'm going to be down there playing um, in Luke's hometown. Um, and all it's kind of cool because all his old bandmates and stuff, they're all really good friends of mine now. Um, I've been playing through that area. So got to meet him and a uh, great group of just, uh, you know, kind of just down down to earth southern guys you know they're just That's they're a good group cool. of people so. i do i do have a question to ask you about your name okay now we know it's your real name yes so actually here's a fun story <laughs> a lot of for people you probably ask you that right yes everyone goes is that a fake name and, and uh my mom and i we were down at the grand Ole opry for the first time i've ever been to grand Ole opry and i'm sitting there and i had this this cd that i made with uh my sound engineer slash manager you who's should, in the studio with us today. He doesn't want to really be on camera. You can see his arm camera. on Facebook Live. That, <laughs> that, that, I, I, just, I was like, wait a second, I didn't want to be on camera either. So and, uh, <laughs> there you go. But we had, had, we had cut the CD of, of uh, some songs that, you know, when I was younger, I'd, uh, I'd been writing and stuff. And we put it together and I'd go down to Nashville. And we're sitting at the Grand Ole Opry and had some CDs with me and these folks next to us ask because they're all pews, you know, so you're just sitting right next mm-hmm. right next mm-hmm. to everybody. If you've they, not been there, you need to go there. Yeah, you oh do need gosh. to go there. Very cool. And uh, we got talking and said, well, I'm a country artist, you know, and oh, really? What's your name? And and Colby Oakley is, you know, I told him and he goes, oh, my, is that, that must be a stage name. Is that, you know, and I said, no. And then pretty soon they wanted a CD and all of a sudden all these people are turning around to Grain Ole Opry and I'm handing out oh these CDs because they, they didn't know who I was, you know, but well, they, they, they will know. They, soon yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> they will soon enough. But that's because that. It's, it's such a cool name. Right. I was, I was wondering, like, do, you know, do people ask you, okay, what's your real name? Because Colby, yeah. if I'm going to be a country singer, uh, <laughs> I, Colby me? Oakley would be one of the names it's I'd go with. I mean, name, I mean yeah. that sounds country <laughs> and that right. sounds bring it to me. So, uh, why don't we play uh, one of the songs off your yeah. uh, uh, Where Would I Be EP coming out uh, a week from today. Yeah. This is called Counting On. And we're going to give away some more tickets to the release party in just a couple of minutes. Uh, next Saturday night, Touch of Texas. going to be a yeah. great time. Kobe Oakley, Counting On at 98.1 The Hawk. Sorry, everybody. I haven't been to the video screen. We've been getting some comments that I haven't yeah. been there. So I'm very uh, sorry about that. But well, we do will... you want to talk to any? Do you, do you want to yeah, I mean, if anybody wants to comment, we'll keep this thing on here for a bit. So, yeah. I mean, send in a comment. Tracy is uh, handling that. So if you got any questions for me. I'm going to eat some more from Strange Brew. (laughs) We've got uh, Ruth Shoemaker saying good morning from Shenango Forks. Good morning. What was her name? Uh, uh, Ruth Shoemaker. Ruth, good morning. Thank you for tuning in, and uh, I hope you guys are liking the new song. Is that called Facebook? Yeah, I think maybe. (laughs) Uh, Deborah Ann Quick says good morning from Appalachian. Good morning. Thank you for tuning in this morning. Uh, we've got Michelle Woodward saying good morning. Love your music. Oh, thank you so much. May 12th. Remember that, everybody. May 12th, it comes out. Um, very excited to get this off the ground. And then on the 13th, uh, we've got the EP party here in Binghamton. So. And uh, Cheryl Wood says uh, good morning, and she says we love you. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Appreciate that. 
Do you want to go through some more? Because we've got some more. Questions. Yeah, we'll take a few more comments. Okay. Everybody's got a question or something. Let me know. Well, let Let's Tracy see. know, and she'll whisper in my ear. And uh, <laughs> Jamie <laughs> Green says that she saw you three to four years ago when you played at the ambulance squad in Harpersville. Wow, I remember that so show. Packed. I remember that show. Yeah. We were supposed to play outside, and it rained. And so we got – remember that, Ken? Because uh, our, our drummer's wow. dad passed around earplugs because we were a little loud for the station. But <laughs> I remember that. that. That's one for the books. Okay. Thank you for coming out. She said it was great. Uh, let's see. Here's another. <laughs> Casey Walrath says, we missed you. Can't wait to see you at Touch of Texas next week. Uh, Tia says she loves you and you're her favorite country singer. Casey, thank you, Tia. Dave, and Tia are listening from Binghamton, New York. Oh, uh, thank you guys so much. And uh Really looking forward to seeing you guys at the EP release party. Make sure to go to ColbyOakley.com. You, you can actually pre-order the, uh, the EP right now. So uh, go there. You can have it. And I believe it's just the digital version. But um, physical stuff comes out May 12th and then the party May 13th. And we actually, you know what, let's just keep the camera rolling because we've got like 30 seconds. And then we're going to talk a little bit more. We're going to give away some more tickets. Don't forget, you can visit nightwithahawk.com. You can, uh, as long as you're a Hawk Country Club member, sign up. If you're not, you can enter to win online to win tickets to Colby's EP release party. We got 10 seconds to go. You ready, Colby? And we're back. Tune in. Listen in. Oh. Colby Oakley. Wow, Colby, that last note. Oh, thank that you. That was beautiful. <laughs> Counting on. <laughs> week from today, where would I be coming out? And a week from tomorrow, going to be a touch text. Now, you're going to have EP. You're going to be selling them there, too, right? Yes. Yeah. So the EPs are going to be available. You can get them. I've also got a really cool thing I'm doing. And uh, my girlfriend takes credit for this idea. And I will give it to her. You're so a smart man. Give her credit you whether she deserves it or not. <laughs> and it really was her idea. And it's a great idea. But I give away a guitar. So um, nice. we'll still be putting it together. I'm going to have it on stage. It was actually. It's a very personal guitar for me. It's one of the first guitars I ever bought. Oh, my God. Um, and I wanted to give it away because it's a big night. And so when you buy the EP, we're going to have a package where you can also get a chance to win this guitar. I'm going to play uh, play a couple songs with it, and then I'm going to hand it off to someone in the crowd, whoever, uh, you know, we're going to have some tickets or something like that. Okay, so. let me just tell you, never have a baby because you have a baby, you get all emotional all the time. <laughs> Everything makes you emotional. I'm sitting over here, you're telling the story, and all I can think about is that this has come full circle for you, that you are, oh my goodness, I'm choking up. Because I'm so proud of you. You're just oh, thank such you. a great guy, and you're so real and you're such you know you love this community and you love all of the people you love our listeners and um so it's come full circle for you whitney point to nashville yeah nashville back here you're giving it back uh at your ep release party giving away uh something very personal to you that says a lot about you as a character oh well thank you so much yeah and i i uh you know i'm just very thankful for Everybody, 98.1 Hawk Morning Show. So thankful for them uh, having me on this morning. Uh, yeah, thank you guys and all the listeners out there. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't get to, you know, do what I'm doing and, and live my dreams. Yeah. So 